M0 FXB. Take a look at the new color screen DMR radio by Radtel, the RT6D. Now we look at some video I've got here and I'll link you to the Facebook page where I found this, the RT6D Facebook page. You'll see it's a very nice looking set. This is quite misty, this display, but you can see the contacts and the information. So they have loaded the CSV file onto this device. And of course, VHF and UHF. The programming software is virtually identical to the to the other radios. Let me just give you a snapshot. And you can see it here. And we've used it with all the other devices, the Radtel 880, the RT4D. It really, it is an RT4D with a color screen. So I have a brochure here that was on the Facebook play page. Please check out the Facebook page, which is here. Because on this page, you're going to find a download for the software and the brochure. Uh, including, you know, when I say software, I mean the CPS. So thanks to Alec for creating this group where everyone can help each other. And the post with the video that we were just looking at is by Andre. Thank you very much. And if we go back to the instruction manual just here, and uh, we'll just quickly flick through it. So, you know, I mean, you're going to say, oh, I don't need it. I've already got a DMR radio, but this is going to be one of the nicest looking DMR radios at this price level that you've seen. I, I can't think of one with a screen as nice as this screen. And that's the big thing here, isn't it? We do love our color screens. Uh, just scroll down at the manual and it says, hmm, it's still showing that middle knob, isn't it? It says here channel and menu switching knob. So no antenna there. <laughs> um for hf no hf definitely no hf but we have a knob for changing the channel mic speaker type c charging channel alias or zones or channel frequency to be displayed dtmf every button can be programmed long press then you've got the side function keys as well I and mean, look at it all it's all here they've actually squashed it into quite a small manual which you know from a, for a dmr radio is pretty good because you know dmr is hard to learn why is it hard to learn because you've got the frequency the talk group the the color code there's time slot one or two then you need to know that a contact is actually a talk group that has to be in the dmr channel and by the time you put those four or five things together then you need a dmr number then you need to put this all into a channel that goes into a, a zone so you can find it and by the time you do all that there's oh, this is going to be hard. And I have to say that to everyone learning DMR, including me, and that is, there is no easy. There's no, oh, if I send someone a message, they'll do it for me. You're still going to have to learn it because they can't be with you 24-7 and DMR is changing all the time and you're always adding different talk groups, different things you want to do, updating the contact CSV list, which is so you can see all the contacts on screen as they speak. So you have to literally say to yourself, I'm going to spend not just hours, weeks and weeks of trying to learn this to enjoy it. Uh, uh, that's DMR for you. And uh, But yeah, as a VHF, UHF and airband radio, just type the frequency, you'll be fine. And I highly recommend you get yourself a hotspot. You know, anyone who's using digital modes and doesn't have a hotspot is in cuckoo land because they are limiting that part of their hobby massively yeah you want to support your local repeater do that as well but hotspots are like having a thousand repeaters in the same room as you and anyone that hasn't got one is cuckoos in my opinion cheers for now 73